Dear students, welcome to my channel. Topic is Modeling Information Retrieval. In this video, Structuring Model which includes non-overlapping list and proximal nodes is covered. Now let us start. This is the taxonomy of Information Retrieval Model. Here this is the structural model. Under structural model, two approaches are discussed here non overlapping list and proximal nodes introduction to structured model keyword based query answering often treats a documents as a flat entities where every word in the document has the same weight this approach doesn't consider the hierarchical or structured nature of documents to improve the keyword based models, it is essential to take into account the document structure. Different sections of documents may have varying level of importance. For example, words appearing in the title or subtitle within the document could be given a higher weight indicating their significance. Definition of structured model Retrieval model which combines information on the text content with the information on the document structure. Now consider the following information need. Retrieve all documents which contain a page in which the string atomic holocaust appears in italics in the text surrounding a figure whose label contains the word earth. The corresponding structural query could be on the same page atomic holocaust word should be there and near to this word figure should be there whose label is earth. Now the format is different to write down this structural query. The same query in classical IR model we can write down atomic holocaust and earth which retrieves all the documents containing both strings. However, this answer contains many more documents and some may be irrelevant than desired by the user. Now we will see the similar query. Retrieve all the documents containing a chapter where the term renewable energy sources appears in bold and this term is associated with a figure labeled sustainability. The corresponding query could be structured as follow. In the same chapter, renewable energy source in bold and near that figure should be there whose label is sustainability. For structural query, the user might be interested in an advanced interface which simplifies the task of specifying the structural query. Drawbacks Difficult to specify the structural query for the naive user. An advanced user interface is needed to enter structural query. Ranking is not established in structural text retrieval model yet. Trade-offs The more expressive the model, the less efficient is its query evaluation strategy. Two structural models are discussed here, non-overlapping list and proximal nodes. Before going for the models, we will see the basic definition match point refers to the position in the text where a sequence of words matches the user's query. For example, if the user query is atomic holocaust in the Hiroshima and this sequence appears in three places within the text of document, it is said to contain three match points. Region is nothing but contiguous portion of the text within a document. Node represents a structural component of the document and this is the base for the structured model. Nodes have predefined topological properties. These properties are known both to the document's author and the user searching for the document system. Otherwise, it is not possible for the user to give the structural query. Nodes can include chapters, sections, subsection and other similar structural elements within the document. First model, the model based on non-overlapping list text division the entire text of each document is divided into non overlapping text regions multiple lists are maintained several lists are generated to represent these regions each list captures a different structural component for example a list of all chapters within the document a list of all sections in the document a list of all subsections within the document if that chapter contains sub subsection then again list is maintained for sub subsection for that document now here the list are represented l0 l1 
एल टू एल थ्री दिस इज फॉर चैप्टर दिस इज फॉर सेक्शन सब सेक्शन सब 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 सेक्शन नाउ देर इज नो ओवरलैपिंग विद इन द चैप्टर लिस्ट देर इज नो ओवरलैपिंग विद इन द सेक्शन सब लिस्ट बट टू डिफरेंट और टू डिस्टिंग लिस्ट कैन बी ओवरलैप डिस्टिंग डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ईच ऑफ दिस लिस्ट इज मेंटेन एज सेपरेट एंड डिस्टिंग डेटा स्ट्रक्चर नॉन ओवरलैपिंग टेक्स्ट रीजन विद इन द सेम लिस्ट do not overlap with each other overlap between the list however it's important to note that text region from the distinct list might overlap with each other as the document structure can sometimes have elements shared between the different structural components we will see with this example now we will consider one document in which we can create this section for example list 1 is for three chapters are there in our document List one is for chapter. Chapter one is introduction. Chapter two is literature review, and chapter three is methodology. Second list is maintained for section, which comes that is section one point one, one point two for the first chapter, two point one, two point two for the second chapter, three point one and three point two for the second third chapter. Now again, sub section is there for each chapter. Section one point one background from the list two overlaps with the part of chapter one. chapter section 3.1 that is data collection from the list 2 overlaps with the part of chapter 3 because they comes under the hierarchy of the chapter 3 these overlaps occur because the boundaries between chapter section and sub sections are not rigid and can vary depending on the document structure so when we create at that time that particular chapter sub section section word may be mentioned or may not be mentioned in the documents we are creating that boundaries so sometimes the boundaries are not rigid text region in the same list there is no overlapping but distinct list might overlap to allow searching for the index term that is vocabulary and for text region which comes under this structural component a single inverted file is built in which each structural component stands as an entry in the index so to understand the overlapping list and proximal node you should have the knowledge of inverted file index associated with each entry there is a list of text region as a list of occurrences for example in this the chapter is there and for the chapter three occurrences are there first occurrence for introduction second occurrence for literature review and third occurrence for methodology so when we create non overlapping list for this document and initially we required to find out the unique words that is nothing but the vocabulary of the document and which is maintained in the inverted file index and when we are maintaining the vocabulary at the same time we are maintaining the structural components in the vocabulary which is chapter section and sub section and in the occurrences we can write down the rest of the things like in chapter 1 for occurrences we will write down introduction literature review and methodology and for section we will write down these things and for sub section we will write down these things in the occurrence list moreover such a list could be easily merged with the traditional inverted file for the words in the text since the text regions are non overlapping the types of queries which can be asked as a simple for example select a region which contains a given word select a region a which does not contain any other region b select a region not contained within any other region now see this example it will get more clear for example the document is there and in that document this different words are there for example beautiful flowers garden house many and this is nothing but the vocabulary of these documents and this is nothing but the occurrences or block occurrences for that particular word now this is nothing but the inverted file index here after that in there is a entry for the each structural component so in our document three structural components are there chapter sections and sub section and the list of occurrences we will write down the detail now when we want to find out a select region which contains a given word and does not contain another region so here we can make the specification that it should contain the introduction but not the literature review like this so we can give such type of query and we will find out the content from the particular portion of the text document
एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ नॉन नॉन ओवरलैपिंग लिस्ट द नॉन ओवरलैपिंग लिस्ट मॉडल इज सिंपल एंड अलाउज इफिशियंट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन बट द टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेरीज दैट कैन बी आस्ट आर वेरी लिमिटेड also model does not include any provision for ranking of the documents by the degree of similarity to the query now we'll see the next model that is a model based on proximal nodes the proposed model enables the creation of hierarchical indexing structure over the same document text here the word s is there that is not only single but we can create multiple hierarchy on the same document text it comprises of chapters section paragraphs pages lines or as a nodes because nodes is a basic structural component of the document for example if we want to create two types of hierarchy in which in first hierarchy only we divide the document according to chapter and section and we may create the another hierarchy in which we are dividing the document based only on paragraphs and pages each node is linked to a specific text region because when we consider the particular structural component the text region is associated with that particular component each node is linked to the specific text region enhancing document structure and content retrieval two distinct hierarchies might refer to overlapping text region this is the example here first we make chapter section sub section sub sub section this is not compulsory that we divide into four levels depending on the nature of documents we will make this now here only single hierarchy is present and in that hierarchy four levels are there now this is structural component chapter section sub section and sub sub section and for each uh, uh, unique words or keywords this is nothing but the inverted file index for example one of the word is represented as holocaust and it appears at the 10th location or it may be block 10th block to 56th block like this now here single hierarchy is present now hierarchy is introduction under introduction this particular portion comes after that chapter 2 and chapter 3 here we can find out that here in overlapping list there is a separate list for chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 there is a separate list for section and there is a separate list for sub section but here under the chapter 1 we are including all things that is nothing but the it is overlapping is there and that is nothing but hierarchical structure is present so when we want to find out a particular word at that time we will see first in the vocabulary that where its first location occurs and at after that we will start with the chapter section sub section sub sub section so we will go down to the hierarchy and we will try to find out the element at the innermost location now in the inverted file index we are storing this vocabulary as well as for chapter we are storing the location where the chapter starts the location of section that is nothing but the either by its offset or word we can store so to understand the proximal node or overlapping list inverted file concept should be clear given a user query which refers to the distinct hierarchies the compiled answer is formed by nodes which all comes from only one of them this is very important to understand thus an answer cannot be composed of nodes which come from two distinct hierarchies means when a particular query is given by the user and when a multiple hierarchies are created on the document the answer is given from only one hierarchy for the effectiveness this approach is designed for faster query processing although it sacrifices some expressiveness for example let us consider a document that has two independent hierarchies one represents chapter and section and another represents pages and paragraphs if a user query request information about a specific topic from both hierarchies a proximal node based system would allowed a forming an answer with nodes from only one hierarchy either it retrieves the answer from the hierarchy which includes chapters and section or pages or paragraph hierarchy but not both this is example single hierarchy with four levels and inverted list for the word holocaust 
so whatever the unique words or vocabulary comes we are maintaining that but for simplicity only word one word is shown the entries in this inverted list indicates all the position in the text of document in which the word holocaust occurs occurs in the hierarchy each node indicates the position in the text of its associated structural component so that's why the section section se chapter section subsection so whenever they start at a particular location in document that is maintained now we will see how the query gets executed in proximal nodes for example query is select from section with the word holocaust by simple query this is the way it process by checking the terms in inverted list because inverted list will includes all the vocabularies of that particular document and looking for corresponding hierarchical section so if that word is present in the vocabulary means it will present either in chapter section sub section in the related structural component so first we will see that word in the inverted file list if it is present then we will see the corresponding structural component the query searches for section sub section or sub sub section with the word holocaust the more sophisticated more sophisticated approach to understand this you require to read this minimum twice because it is very difficult to explain in one go so i will explain after that you require to read this for two to three times to understand from the detail view more sophisticated approach if process the checking of the terms from the inverted list and looking for corresponding hierarchical section as explained in the previous slide first we search through the document structure starting from the top and moving down to the bottom we will stop when we find a match that is nothing but the innermost match a section that contains the word holocaust now we found the mentioned word in the innermost section for the next word we don't need to check the second occurrence in the inverted list means when the first word is covered we will never go immediately to the inverted file to see the next occurrence but we will see uh, we will stay there only that is innermost portion and we will find out that it if it is there it indicates that we will check the next occurrence of the holocaust word within the same section that is we are not changing the section and we are not going directly to the inverted file but we will remain in that same section if it is there it indicates that any larger section containing this one also have the word because we are coming from top to bottom so we don't need to recheck them we keep doing this for all the occurrences of the holocaust in the document unless until they are found in that particular proximity that is nothing but in that inner uh, whatever that particular section this way we save time because we only look in nearby section at each time and don't redo the whole search but after some time if that particular word will not occur in that sub section then only we are going to the again inverted file list to see the next occurrences the term proximal nodes just means that we are focusing on nearby section in the document structure which makes the search faster so when initially the word comes we first see in the inverted file index after that we will check chapter section sub section and sub sub section for example if that word word find out find out in the innermost structure sub sub section then it is present in the sub section section and chapter then we will find out the occurrences and for the next occurrence of the holocaust we will not go again to the inverted file but we will check in the proximity of the sub sub section so until all this particular proximity is covered we are not going to the uh, inverted file index to see the appearance of the holocaust at the in the next location so in this way this is the hierarchical structure is there in the proximal node advantage and disadvantage this the model enables the advanced queries compared to the non overlapping list it speed up the processing by examining the nearby nodes queries are somewhat limited that all the nodes in the answer must be from one hierarchy it's an efficiency versus expressiveness compromise because if we give the answer from multiple hierarchy we require some time references used to prepare this video and this is all about the structuring model of the modeling information retrieval thank you